Loneliness and the lack of social connection is something that you're going to face at one point or another as an editor. You spend pretty much your whole day at home working away because remote work, right? And it is amazing that we're able to, at such a young age, make money doing things that we not only love, but also from home. I say this all the time to my parents. Don't you find it crazy that I'm just like sitting at home at my PC, the same PC that I used to spend all day playing Fortnite on, but now I'm making a full-time income. Tell someone that like 50 years years ago that some 18 year old is making more than his teachers from home doing what he likes they wouldn't believe you but working from home it's such a double-edged sword because on one end sure you have the benefits of working from home you're always with your family you're never having to pay to travel and stuff but at the same time you're going to be hit with such extreme moments of loneliness moments that I genuinely wouldn't wish on anyone and if you're a video editor if you're anything like me you're either going through that you've gone through it or you're going to because I remember when I first started editing and it was when I was in about high school right and some of you might know this but I basically started in the Fortnite space so there were these things called highlights some of you will understand it it's like just montages basically and at the time I was maybe making like three four hundred a month for a 16 year old not bad right just he's just doing what he likes and he's doing it from home it's amazing and when I started to try taking it more seriously when I was like okay you've got potential here instead of doing two videos a week for clients let's do three four five videos a week right and naturally what happens is you start to prioritize your editing rather than your social life which I think is a key part of doing well. I don't hate myself at all for prioritizing editing. I think that's the reason I'm here today. That's the reason I'm recording this. That's the reason you're seeing this and I'm able to pass on this knowledge, right? It was because I made that sacrifice. But I'll be completely honest, I would kill to have been able to do that while maintaining a social life. Because what I just told you is what a lot of editors do, right? You see some potential in editing, you start getting a few clients and then you're like, let me scale this shit up. There's huge potential. People are willing to pay for this. But what I didn't tell you is when I started scaling up, after a few months of doing that, bro, I got burnt out and if you've ever experienced burnout you know it's not one of them things where you can just like brush it under the rug because when you when you're burnt out or like you're starting to get burnt out and then you're like oh bunny like it'll be fine let me just get through it bro it gets so much worse i did that because what happened to me is for like four months straight i was just going a hundred into editing and don't get me wrong my income it went from like 400 to like a thousand right it's not gonna sound like a lot now but back at the time it was so the income was nice but what happened was that burnout like everything i brushed under the rug it finally bit me in the ass and by the end of this it was like bro I didn't even want to look at Premiere and I think at the time I took around a month or two off and when you're out of the game for however long you're gonna miss out not only that but what I found was you actually backtrack from what you've learned so you'll come back to it when you're recharged when you're ready and stuff and you're never gonna be as good as you started off as and this is why I hate you know the people that promote this like grind set fucking sigma mindset thing where it's like oh just keep working bro burnout isn't real you haven't experienced burnout if you think burnout isn't real bro it's bad and while I 100% believe burnout is real there's ways to avoid it and one of the easiest ways to do that is through social connection if you've been in the youtube game like freelance if you've been here for a while you'll understand what i mean by social connection is so important those are the guys that get it but if you're not too sure let me explain to you so burnout is essentially when you're pretty much spending too long on the videos that you are producing because when that happens you don't have any other time to put towards the things that you genuinely enjoy in life spending time with family if you like eating out you eat out things like that and it's really important to prioritize these things and so so many people tell you not to but well, if something makes you happy you should be prioritizing it right there's literally studies to show that people that are happy while they work they're the ones that get the best results they're the ones that are most productive they're the ones that make the most money so wouldn't your happiness be a decent goal to strive for okay i want to be more productive but if happiness gets me there why not be happy and productive right so i think the first thing i need to ingrain in your head is you being happy and you going out of your way to enjoy your life somewhat it is part of being more productive in your editing as well and just like we said before in turn that means not burning out social connection it's one of our fundamental needs it's something we innately need as human and don't think that this doesn't apply to you you'd be stupid to think this doesn't apply to you bro you need social connection in your life to be happy go search up maslow's hierarchy of needs if you don't believe me you can go check it out yourself i'm not gonna link it go find it and i know there's gonna be some kid that's like oh, but malice i'm an introvert i don't like socializing and stuff bro you're a human no then you need social connection but how do you actually incorporate that as an editor because if you're actually an editor, if you're actually working with clients, you know, sometimes, bro, with these deadlines that these bastards are putting us on, it can be tough to go out, right? Even these days, I have to sometimes tell my friends, like, bro, I'm sorry, I'm a little busy. I mean, I'm not going to be able to go out this week, which is fine. But it's still something I maintain. Every week, I'll go out like two, three times with my mates. Not even to go spend the shit ton of money and go eat and stuff, but just going to the park and like playing football. So for you to put work into your social life, you know how important it is now. Now, how do you actually go about doing it? I like to put this down into one motto. It's 
work hard, play harder. What I'm saying to you is when you are working, you should genuinely be working and be present while you're doing it, right? Okay, I'm working because I've set this time aside and I'm not going to be checking my phone. I'm not going to be asking my friends where they are. I'm not going to be ordering food suddenly. And the second part of the motto, play harder. Now, this is when you go order your food and stuff. When you're not working, when you're not at your desk, when you don't have a video to finish, bro, enjoy yourself. Don't let editing even enter your mind. When I go to the park with my mates like the thought of a deadline coming up or the thought of oh i need to speak back to this client bro it doesn't even enter my head i'm able to genuinely enjoy my time you don't realize how much of the time you spend thinking while you're editing goes towards the crave that you have for social interaction because when you don't fulfill this need that's all you're going to be thinking about you're probably like me bro i live at my parents house still i don't see a need to move out so those basic layers of food shelter and stuff they're covered so editing is pretty much like a luxury to me and you right any income we make is pretty much hours we don't have any major expenses so when it comes to this hierarchy of needs the first thing you need to tick off is social connection and you do that by being present while you aren't editing like this topic just reminded me of this one girl that i took out last year i remember how i had deadlines and stuff in my head and don't get me wrong she was a nice girl it didn't work out anyways but i remember the first few times i took her out bro the thing is i wanted to be there i know that like, like this bitch man like <laughs> do you know what i mean but the only thing that was running through my head while her words are coming towards me was bro I have to go home and edit because I have a deadline that's due tonight. She's trying to start a conversation with me, right? And bro, when I tell you that, like she called me out. People don't do this. When someone's like low-key being a bit rude, you can tell they're spacing off. No one really calls it out, bro. She called me out and she was like, see if I can tell you're not listening to me. I wasn't present and man, I wish I can go back sometimes. But like, don't get me wrong, I've learned from my mistakes, but it just wasn't fair on her, man. Like if you're giving your time to someone, like she gave her time to me pretty much, right? The least I could have done is respected her enough to give her my full presence and my full attention but me mixing between my work mindset and like, my social mindset that ultimately meant she wasn't able to enjoy herself and i wasn't able to enjoy ourselves so we both just wasted our time and i remember going home and i came home at around 11 and i went to finish that video the one that i was thinking about and bro all i could think while i was working is her and how i fucked up and i wasn't being present i wasn't being attentive and that meant i couldn't work as well so not only do i lose out on my social life but now my my work suffers as well so what gain is there i don't want you to go through like shitty periods like this it's why i share experiences like mine no like youtube retention guru and stuff like they're right they're fucking twitter threads but bro no one's gonna tell you the sad truth about what it's like to be an editor the raw shit that no one's gonna tell you about right because this is the thing that you're probably gonna face you letting work take over your mind you not going by the motto of work hard play harder you not separating those two things ultimately you're not only gonna see your social life deteriorate before your eyes bro you your work's gonna suffer as well so now you end up getting nowhere because like i said it almost just plays at your mind when you know that you're editing but you'd rather be somewhere else and when those thoughts get stuck in your head well it is hard to push them out honestly i don't think you can and then you end up sitting down for like five hours in a row you look back after all of that and you've got like half the video done and you should have been done way earlier because while it's definitely true that if you socialize too much if you spend too much time out of the house and stuff you're not going to get work done right that's i think that's obvious for most of us but on the other end of the curve it's the exact same thing where you not prioritizing your social life at all it'll actually harm your productivity so you don't want to be at these extremes where you're either not socializing at all or you're out every day you're never working so the graph's like this there's a sweet spot here we're trying to find that and of course it's an iterative process i don't even think i'm here i think i socialize a little too much if i'm being honest i go out like two three times a week with my friends so i think i'm about like here which is a lot better than here or here, right? So be honest with yourself. Right now, you get thoughts where you'd rather be doing something else than editing. If yes, then you're probably on this end of the curve. Because everyone talks about work-life balance, but I think it's bullshit, I'll be honest. I think the word balance isn't the right word to use. I think it's more about separation. The mindset you have while working should be completely different to the mind frame and how you feel while you're out with your friends and playing about, right? Like that only makes sense. And when I started thinking about that, when I stopped checking my Instagram, when I stopped checking my twitter when i stopped messaging my friends while i'm editing when i separated work from the rest of my life i was able to enjoy my social life so much more like just go onto my twitter right now you can do this after the video is finished don't click off yet please i need your watch time man go onto my twitter like scroll down i kept all my posts for the last like two years you can see how much i improved even in like the last six months and one of the biggest difference between me not being good and me today which of course i'm not the best but i've made a lot of improvements from my fortnite days one of the biggest differences well i was a loner in high school for 
fast forward to today and I genuinely have a vibrant social circle where it's like I can call someone up now and they'll be ready to meet me whenever. That only came when I was able to give people my full attention and be present in the moment. There's no point being the best editor for like three months and then disappearing because you got burnt out right? If you want to be in this for the long game you genuinely have to construct a life where editing is part of it right? And by you separating your editing world from your outside world what happens is you suddenly start seeing amazing improvements in both and I think that's such a beautiful thing. Now if you've watched up to this point I'm going to give you an actionable step. This is exactly the way that I've incorporated all this advice. Set a time where you're not going to work anymore from this time onwards each day. So for me that's 5 p.m. As soon as 5 p.m. hits I'm not allowed to work and what this does is from 5 p.m. onwards that's when like most people are like alive like active right. So anytime before 5 you're allowed to work you get all your work done and anytime after 5 no more work chill with your family bro go eat go do whatever you want. It's a change that most people aren't going to make but then again it is 99% of editors that are going to fail. So now it's up to you you can go ahead with that plan that I gave or you can go ahead and be like every other editor.